Lesson 100 is about algebraic addition of integers. Now, when we're doing this lesson, we're going to see problems that look like this. Add positive 8 plus negative 5. Integers can mean we're working with positive numbers or negative numbers, as we see here. Now, our first step is always going to be to put parentheses in and make sure we're adding in the middle. So we've got plus 8. Well, if we've got plus 8, 8 plus 8 plus negative 5, we're going to start at 0 and we're going to go over 8 because it says plus 8. So we raise up off of the 0 on the number line and we go over 8. Then it says plus negative 5 units. So if it says negative 5 units, that means we have to go backwards 5 units. And if we go backwards 5 units from 8, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, we must end up at the 3. So, when we draw this picture out, it helps us to find our answer. We've got 3. So positive 8 plus negative 5, that's equal to positive 3. If you want to write the positive symbol, you can, but if you just leave it as 3, we know it must be a positive number. Let's look at another problem. Here we have negative 5 plus negative 3. So our first step again was to put in parentheses. We start at 0, and we start with negative 5. So negative 5, that's moving 5 to the left on our number line. We'll put a dot there. We'll raise up off the number line and go over. Then our next move, we've got plus negative 3 more. If we go negative 3 more from negative 5, we go 1, 2, and 3, we must end up at negative 8. So we've got our dot there, and we've answered our question. Negative 5 plus negative 3, that must be equal to negative 8. Got to make sure we've got our negative symbol, because it's a negative number. We've got our final answer. When we use our number line, it makes, us, makes it easier to see these problems. But if you can get them in your head, get the same thing, that's fantastic. Let's look at our next example. Here we want to add negative 6 plus negative 6. I'm going to put parentheses in. Negative 6, that's where we're going first. So negative 6 is right here. We'll connect those dots, and then we're going to go negative 6 more. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4. We ran out of room, but we can always add more. We've got negative 11. We've got negative 12. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We end up right here at negative 12, so we can connect those, and we've got our final answer. We're pointing down to it right there. Negative 6 plus negative 6, that must equal negative 12. Got our final answer. Again, using the number line is helpful for us to visualize this, and we can move on to our next question. We'll use a new color now, because what we want to do is find the opposites of each number. Now, the opposites just mean the opposite sign. So the opposite of negative 7 is equal to positive 7. The opposite of 10, well the opposite of 10, and instead of putting an equal sign in here, let's put an arrow. Because that means we're finding the opposite here. That's what the question tells us to do. The opposite of 10, that would be negative 10. Now if we had one more problem, let's say problem C, let's say we had the opposite of one-fourth. The opposite of one-fourth? Well, that must be equal to negative one-fourth. Because the opposite just means we have the opposite sign. Addition would become subtraction, and subtraction, or negatives, would become positives. Now this will help us with our next questions. Here we want to simplify. Negative eight minus negative five. So, what we need to do, remember, is to box our numbers within parentheses and we want to always be adding. So this problem it represents a special circumstance because we're not adding here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the minus sign to the right and we're gonna add in the middle. That's gonna look like this. Negative 8 plus we're gonna push everything to the right plus negative negative 5. 
So now we're adding. That's what algebraic addition is. It's always adding rather than subtracting. Now, when we have this problem, minus negative 5 or negative negative 5, what that's saying is the opposite of a negative. Because negative signs really just mean the opposite. So the opposite of a negative, that must be a positive. So this is really saying negative 8 plus the opposite of a negative is a positive, so plus 5. And now we could find our answer. We start at 0. We go back to negative 8, because that's where it tells us to go. Then we go forward, positive 5, because, well, it's plus 5, so we move to the right. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We must end up right here at negative 3. If you like using the number lines, you're more than welcome to, just like we've done in this whole lesson so far. So negative 8 minus negative 5 is really the same thing as saying negative 8 plus positive 5. That must give us an answer of negative 3. And we're all done. We can move on to our next example. Here we have one more. Negative 3 minus positive 5. So everything's already in parentheses. That's good. But we need to add in the middle. So we're going to push our negative to the right. Push it over. So we're going to get negative 3 plus minus positive 5. Now what this is saying is the opposite of a positive. Well, that must be a negative because the opposite of a positive is always a negative. So when we simplify, we're going to say negative 3 plus the opposite of a positive, that must be a negative, so we're going to get negative 5. Negative 3 plus negative 5, if we go ahead and go through, start at 0, we're going to go backwards 3, and then we're going to go plus negative 5 more, so negative numbers, we're moving to the left again, we must go all the way out to negative 8. So we've got our final answer. Negative 3 plus negative 5, that's equal to negative 8. If you're using a number line, you could just circle your answer like this and move on to the question. If you weren't using a number line, of course you'd have to write it out. Negative 8, box it, and move on to the next question. Remember a key thing here is we always want to add, so we're going to push our subtraction to the right, and then we're going to find the opposite of a positive is a negative. That helps us get to our correct answer. Lesson practice will be on page 537. Make sure you've got your notes complete, and I'll see you during our next class.